now in this video we will study the synchronization and asynchronization of a thread okay but before that we should have to know what is the synchronization and asynchronization of a thread but before that we should have to know what is the synchronization and what is the asynchronization of a thread so first we will discuss about the synchronization synchronization means if two or more than two threads use the single resource one by one in the fashion of round robin called as a synchronization what is the meaning of a round robin here we can say round robin means one by one sequentially synchronization means if two or more than two threads use the single resource one by one in the fashion of a round robin called as an asynchronization what is the meaning of a asynchronization we can say a synchronization means if two or more than two threads use the single resource concurrently called as a, a synchronization is there we will see the practically consider we have a here example consider consider we have a resource here and we have a first thread we have a second thread and we have a third thread consider we have a three thread thread is here consider this is the first second and third these are these are the three threads here when we use the first thread right if we talking about a synchronization if we talking about a synchronization so when first thread use this resource then completely first thread use it when first thread use finish then use this resource by the second thread and again use this resource by the third thread it is called as a synchronization but what is the meaning of a asynchronization asynchronization means when first thread use then in waiting of first thread second thread will be used in waiting of first and second third thread will be used means all threads use the same resource concurrently called as an asynchronization i don't understand but here we have a very more important question what is the resource what is the resource is here we said from last 5 minutes right resource resource but we should have to know what is the exact meaning of a resource here as per the computer fundamentals we can say resource means a ram resource means a ram if you talking about ram technically we can say ram is a resource but as per the programming resource or as per the object oriented programming resource means object why we said resource it means object suppose consider if i say ki ram is a resource then how we can say object is a resource because when we create the object then in my ram object allocate the some space means in short we can say object is a part of a ram and if object is a part of a ram and ram is a resource means definitely object is a resource is there so if i want to convert the definition of a synchronization if i said synchronization means if two or more than two threads use a single object sequentially one by one in the fashion of round robin called as a synchronization if two or more than two threads use the single resource 
concurrently called as a single resource or here I can revise here object concurrently called as a asynchronization okay but sometimes we can say asynchronization is responsible for to occur the deadlock so what is the meaning of a deadlock we can say deadlock means if two or more than two threads waiting for a single resource called as a deadlock is there okay now consider we have an example here Consider we have an example. Consider we want to print the table. Consider we want to print the table of a two, three, and four numbers. We want to print the tables of a two, three, and four numbers. So consider here. We write a one class called as a table. We write a one class called as a table. And we have a three threads two, three, and four. We have a three threads in there. Two, three, and what is this? Four. Means here we share the table object reference. with a two thread, three thread and four thread also. Right? Or consider we, we use here only two threads, not a third thread. So we, we have two threads sufficient for see the practicals, not a problem. So means here we share the table object reference with a two threads, two and three threads in there. Okay. So now we want to write the code. First we will we will write the code and then after that we will understand or, or we will try to understand the code of the right synchronize asynchronization. Consider we have a class, the name of a class is the table. We have a two threads, class two extends thread class extends thread. Here I can write public class 2, 3 app. Just, I want to give the main class name. App. Here I can write public static void main string of x. Class 2, class 3 and Right and class table. So here we use the table as a resource. Two is a thread and three is the thread also. So here I can write white show table. Int of x. Here I can write I catch exception of e. System dot out dot println error is plus of e is here we can write for i equal to of one i is a less than equal to of a ten i plus plus system dot out dot printf percent e into percent d equals to percent d slash i comma x i into of x is there. Then you can write here thread dot slip thousand milliseconds. Okay. Consider here we have a class. The name of a class is a table. For i equal to 1, i is less than equal to 10. System dot 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 printer. Percent into percent equal to i x comma i equal to x. Let's right. consider we have a second thread. And here we share a right. table of a tp. Or table of a t. Here I can write table of a t is there. 
this dot t equals to t white show table sorry here i can write public void run t dot show table of it to here so if you write here class table class 3 is here then i can write here t then i can see 3 is here right so consider it is your code so if i create object of a table first table of a t1 equals to new of a table if i write two of a t w if new of a t of a t1 then i can write w dot start and if i write here 3 of a th equal to new of a 3 and if i write here t1 then i can write here th dot start so consider here we have a class table right first we will understood the execution of the code Consider we have another thread, 2 is there. It is a 2. And then again we have a 3. Then we have a main class here. Now we want to see so think here it is our RAM. So when we execute this statement in RAM table of a t1 equals to new of a table here. So what happened? We have an object of a table class. Table class object having a some address location. You can say 10,000. This 10,000 address location share stored in a T1. This 10,000 address location stored in T1. So next we will call this. 2 of a TW equal to new of a 2 so in my memory we have a two objects which we created the object of a 2 but here the T1 the T1 is a reference of a 2 stored is to second second thread constructors means here we can say the 10,000 address Store here means as per the memory management, this thread used to this object. When we call the start method, right, means here we get executed. Sorry, here means here we executed this constructor, so it is a table reference of table. So when we call the tw dot start, then run method will be executed. From run method, t dot show table executed here. Means here we can say the value of a 2 right here the value of a 2 is stored here right the value of a 2 is stored here when we execute i equal to 1 i is less than equal to 10 yes your condition is true right then your table will be executed so what is the answer here so we get answer percent d for this here we get answer 1 into 2 equal then we have a some waiting period thread or sleep so in this waiting period so in this waiting period your processor create the object of the third this in this waiting period processor execute this statement when processor execute this statement then your memory create the new object and again in this object we share the t1 reference means here again 
right we in this object also 10000 address is present here we can say it is also expected so when we call th dot start when we call th dot start then this run will be executed and from this run right executed the show table again means here the three value right store here then i equal to 9 less than of 10 then we get answer 1 into 3 equal to 3 then again waiting period in this waiting period then second thread use this this method then we get answer 2 into 2 equal to 4 then again waiting so in this waiting again third thread will this, execute this statement means here we can say the table object means here we can say the table object means above diagram say table object used by two thread once and concurrently used by three thread again used by two again used by three means first one means one time to use the table then again three use then again two use again three use means we can see it is a concurrent behavior so we can see it is called as asynchronization. I do understand. So we want to see the practically here. We want to execute this code. We can see the code. Class table here. Class 2, 3. We want to execute this code. Then I can write here 2, sorry. 2, 3, dot Java. We can say here Java C. 2, 3, App dot Java. Sorry, there is a problem of a comment. It should be. Sorry. Java C two three app dot Java. Java two. We can see the output. Okay. 1 into 2 equal to 2, 1 into 3 equal to 3, 2 into 3 equal to 6. Means we can say 2 and 3 use the table resource concurrently, called as an asynchronization. I don't understand or not? Yes. But if you want to be marked as a synchronized, then we can mark it as an asynchronized. Right? Very more important thing, thread never be synchronized. Resource may be a synchronized. Are you understand or not? When we mark the resource is in a synchronization. So, what is the meaning of this? Here, come here in diagram. Then we get idea. When we write the synchronization keyword. When we write the synchronization keyword in this method, then processor, then this keyword this keyword send the acknowledgement to processor this method is an asynchronized method what is the meaning of this this method right used by single thread at a time not used by the multiple thread at a time are you clear means when we declare this method as an asynchronization synchronize then right this method used by a sequentially by the thread here we can say 1 into 2 equal to 2 in this fashion 3 into 2 4 into 2 Yes. First two completely executed by executed the table resource and then again start by the three. It is called as a uh, synchronization process. I do you understand or not? Yes. So, right, we want to be revise the all concepts here. In this video, we will study the, what is the synchronization, what is the asynchronization. What is the meaning of a synchronization? We can say synchronization is in a process where two or more than two thread is the single resource one by one sequentially. Right. What is the name of a resource here? We can say resource is called as an object. Are you clear? Yes. In next next session or in next video, we will study the use of wait, notify and notify all methods.